Tesla just killed the rideshare industry, and Uber didn't see it coming. Right now in downtown Austin, a $30,000 driverless robo-taxi is cruising public streets with zero safety drivers, zero supervision, and zero mistakes. Elon Musk himself took the ride and confirmed it. Fully autonomous operation is here. But here's the question that should terrify every Uber investor. If Tesla can mass produce these by April 2026 at just 20 cents per mile, who's going to pay two to three dollars per mile for a human driver? Last weekend, I watched a video that honestly gave me chills. Two cyber cabs driving side by side through downtown Austin. No drivers, no hands on steering wheels, just two empty vehicles navigating traffic like they'd been doing it for years. And you know what struck me? The people filming weren't panicking or shocked. They were curious, maybe even excited. That's when it hit me. We're not preparing for autonomous vehicles anymore. They're already here, and most of us haven't realized what that actually means. Elon Musk rode in one of these robo-taxis himself. No safety driver in the passenger seat. No emergency kill switch ready. Just him in the back while AI handled every turn, every lane change, every decision. Think about that for a second. When CEOs demo products, there's usually a safety net, a backup plan if things go wrong. Musk didn't have one. Either he's absolutely reckless, or the technology is far more reliable than any of us realize. I'm betting on the latter, and that should concern everyone in the rideshare business. Because while we were all watching those Austin videos, something else was happening that didn't make headlines. Tesla posted urgent job openings in China, not we're exploring opportunities positions, urgent hires. They need people now because FSD launches in China in February or March 2026 and they're racing to build the infrastructure before that deadline. You don't post urgent job listings for something that's still experimental. You do it when you're about to scale fast. At the shareholders meeting, Musk mentioned production targets, one cyber cab every 10 seconds. I had to pause and actually calculate what that means. Six vehicles per minute, 360 per hour, over 8,600 autonomous taxis manufactured every single day once production ramps up. To put that in perspective, Uber has about 5 million drivers worldwide. Tesla could build enough cyber cabs to replace every Uber driver in a major city like Phoenix or Austin in less than a month. That's not disruption, that's obliteration. But here's what everyone misses when they talk about autonomous vehicles the unglamorous operational stuff that actually determines success or failure. Tesla just released their passenger rules, and honestly, they're brilliant. Spill your coffee? 50 bucks. Get sick in the back seat? $150 automatically charged. Light up a cigarette? Banned and fined. These aren't just rules. They're proof Tesla understands the real problem with running a taxi service. I've taken enough Ubers to know the vehicle condition is wildly inconsistent. Sometimes it's pristine. Sometimes it smells like the previous passenger's fast food or worse. Why? Because cleaning a fleet requires coordination, employees, time, and money. Tesla solved this with software. The car knows when it's dirty, identifies who made the mess through the app, charges them automatically, and routes itself to a cleaning station. No human dispatcher needed. No arguments about who spilled what. The system just handles it. And then there's wireless charging, which sounds minor until you think through the implications. Traditional taxis need someone to fuel them up. Electric taxis need someone to plug them in overnight. Tesla's cyber cabs? They drive themselves to a charging pad, power up, and go back to work. No employees. No downtime beyond charging just continuous operation. I keep thinking about what this means five years from now when Tesla has thousands of these running in every major city. The cost advantage isn't incremental, it's structural. 
Uber can't compete with that without completely rebuilding their business model from scratch. Now let's talk about the Waymo comparison because everyone keeps bringing it up. Yes, Waymo has been operating longer. Yes, they've given millions of rides. But here's the fundamental difference that matters. Waymo's vehicles cost over $200,000 because of all the sensors and LiDAR arrays. They only work in pre-map cities. When construction changes a road, Waymo needs teams updating maps manually. It works, but it doesn't scale beyond a handful of wealthy cities willing to support the infrastructure. Tesla bet everything on vision-based AI. Just cameras, no expensive sensors. The same neural network that drives in Austin works in New York, Beijing, Mumbai, anywhere. And here's what keeps me up at night if I worked at Waymo. What happens when Tesla proves their cheaper approach works just as well? Because if a $30,000 vehicle with cameras can match a $200,000 vehicle with LiDAR, the entire autonomous vehicle industry just got disrupted by Tesla. Again, there's another angle here that's almost unfair. Every Tesla on the road is feeding data back to the system. Every close call, every construction zone, every unexpected pedestrian becomes training data. A human Uber driver might encounter 10 difficult situations per day and learn from them slowly over years. Tesla's AI processes millions of difficult situations across the entire global fleet every hour and gets smarter continuously. The learning curve isn't linear, it's exponential. That advantage compounds daily, and there's no realistic way for competitors to catch up. Mass production starts in April 2026. Price target, under $30,000. Operating cost, 20 cents per mile. Let me make this real for you. Eight miles across town in an Uber today costs about $25. Same trip in a robo-taxi, $1.60. Not a typo, $1.60. Now imagine you're an Uber driver reading this. You're making $15 to $20 an hour after gas and expenses. You're dealing with drunk passengers, navigating traffic, maintaining your car. Tesla's robo-taxi never gets tired, never complains, never needs a break, and charges 94% less than you do. When cyber cabs launch in your city next year, what's your plan? Seriously, what do you do? The economics are so lopsided that I genuinely don't see how human drivers survive this. Maybe in rural areas where autonomous vehicles struggle. Maybe for premium experiences where people specifically want human interaction. But for basic point-to-point -point transportation in cities, the math doesn't work. Passengers will choose cheaper rides every single time. Here's something most analysts are completely missing. Tesla's aggressive expansion into China isn't just about market access. It's about proving FSD works in the most chaotic traffic environment on Earth. Chinese roads are insane, scooters weaving through traffic, pedestrians crossing wherever, rules treated as gentle suggestions. If Tesla's AI can handle that, it can handle anything. And China's ride-hailing market does 10 billion trips per year through DD alone. If Tesla captures even 10% of that market at prices 80% below current rates, we're talking about revenue that could exceed Tesla's entire automotive business. Nobody's pricing this into the stock yet, which seems crazy to me. The recent Hardware 5 upgrade is getting overlooked too. 10 times more processing power than Hardware 3. That's not just faster reactions, it's predictive driving. The AI sees a car drifting three lanes over and calculates the chain reaction before it happens. It's processing 40 different objects simultaneously while predicting what each will do next. I can't do that. You can't do that. Professional race car drivers can't do that. But the cyber cab can, thousands of times per second. Tesla's stock hit an all-time high recently, and I finally understand why. A Model 3 generates $40,000 once. A cyber cab generates revenue every single day for years. One vehicle could produce $30,000 to $40,000 annually in ride fees. 
When you're manufacturing one every 10 seconds and each becomes a perpetual income stream, the revenue potential is staggering. This is why Musk called it the second biggest product for 2026. And here's the part that should terrify Uber, Lyft, and traditional automakers. They can't respond fast enough. Building this AI requires years of data Tesla already has from millions of vehicles. Manufacturing at scale requires factories Tesla already built. The charging network already exists. The competitive advantage isn't just large. For most companies, it might already be impossible to overcome. By the time competitors develop comparable technology, Tesla could have tens of thousands of robo-taxis operating in major cities worldwide. I'm watching this unfold and thinking about all those Uber drivers who have no idea what's coming. Some of them are paying off cars they bought specifically to drive for Uber. Some quit other jobs because rideshare income seems stable. In 18 months, their entire livelihood might evaporate. That's not speculation. That's basic economics when a competitor can offer the same service for 5% of the cost. The regulatory question remains, but here's my read on it. When Tesla demonstrates thousands of cyber cabs operating safer than human drivers, when accident rates drop measurably in cities where they operate, politicians won't be able to justify keeping them off roads. Public safety data beats political hesitation every time. And Tesla's building that safety data right now on Austin streets. So here's the answer to that question from the beginning. How does a $15 per hour Uber driver compete with a 20 cent per mile autonomous taxi? The truth is, they can't. This isn't Tesla entering rideshare. This is Tesla making human drivers economically obsolete in 18 months. April 2026. Mass production begins at Giga Texas. When those first thousand cyber cabs hit Austin streets, everything changes. Not just for Uber, for every driver, every commuter, every city planning department in America. But here's the bigger picture. Solving autonomous driving on Earth is the foundation for everything else. The same AI navigating Austin traffic today will eventually guide rovers on Mars coordinate robotic mining operations on asteroids, and manage entire automated colonies across the solar system. Tesla isn't just building cheaper taxis. They're perfecting the intelligence that makes Elon's entire vision possible. Now, I want to hear from you. When robo-taxis cost $1.60 for a ride that currently costs $25, do you think people will actually care about having a human driver? Drop your honest take in the comments. If this breakdown gave you a different perspective on where transportation is headed, hit that like button. Subscribe to Tesla Zone and turn on notifications because when those production lines start rolling in April, you'll want the analysis first. The autonomous revolution just became inevitable. The question is, who survives it? Elon Musk just revealed something Tesla's been hiding in plain sight, and it's not on Twitter. Inside Tesla's factories, production lines are being rebuilt to hit the $25,000 Model 2 price tag while putting $12,000 back in seniors' pockets over 10 years. But here's what shocks everyone. The breakthrough isn't the car design, it's how they're building it. Can casting technology and 10-hour assembly really slash costs without cutting quality? Or is this $25,000 dream built on production promises Tesla can't keep? Ha! Huh. Here's what separates Model 2 from every affordable EV promise before it. Tesla stopped designing cars the traditional way. While legacy automakers sketch vehicles, then figure out how to build them, Musk flipped the entire script. Model 2's price was locked in before designers touched a single curve because the factory became the product itself. Think about that for a second. Most companies ask,